Welcome to the next installment of how Balintawak Eskrema influenced and impacted my modern Arnis. Now, this next one has to do with wrist position. And Manong Ted was very, very adamant about having a right angle, you know, position, stick to grip. And in learning from Professor Remy, you know, he, he was not very uh, specific about the wrist position. And so, like most people who come into Arnis, having done any other type of weapon, there's this applic application of the concept, the weapon is ex the extension of the arm. And a lot of times that would translate into, okay, so if I've got this, now notice, in terms of a straightness, I'm extending the arm almost as if I'm going extendo pop, 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 like this. So what you have is you have a straight line here. Now, an interesting thing that I've seen is I've seen uh, Filipino martial artists talking about you got to really watch the recoil if you're banging against a tire, you know, because this baby will come back zoom, and, and surprise you or even hit you or whatever. Well, the fascinating thing is the right angle position locks in the position of the stick so that there's less floppy, you know, what I would call floppy recoil. You wouldn't go and it pops off and hits you. You can actually smack it really well and keep, losing, keep from losing uh, control of the cane. Now, there's another aspect on this, and that is distance between my partner and I when we're striking. Normally, what you've got is you've got people that, uh, you know, you've got pretty much this distance here. Now, here's the interesting thing. I'm turning my wrist. I'm not in right angle position. If I turn in right angle position, oh, look at that distance there. Most people will puño. They'll, they'll uh, do what I call spiking. If you're at a right angle, oh, look at that. I'm in position where I can do this. I'm in position where I can do this. And the lovely thing about that close in type of hitting position is that since very few people actually smack with the cane in a puño uh, range, it becomes the unexpected move. And anybody who knows me knows that I'm all about what I call the left turn at Albuquerque. He strikes and this is where people will normally uh, go. And the fascinating thing is, since people normally train that way, that check hand's going to come up and he's going to, and, and here we get into locking or we get uh, uh, tussling, grappling. Where my left turn at Albuquerque comes in is he strikes and there's my first target of opportunity. Bang! I'm here, looks like a puño is coming, whack, etc. Same thing if he strikes, let's say here, and I'm just like this. Yeah, you see his fingers flip up? I start here, he's gonna go ahead and check my arm, and bang, and then I can follow through. And notice, I'm in this punch range. E easily follow through punch range. I deliver the strike from that distance, and it all comes from this right angle position.